Hello everyone, welcome to Nathan Sucks at Fire Emblem Awakening, the finale. Yes, it has been quite, quite a long trip to get here, but it is finally, finally over. Well, it's about to be, and of course we've still got some bonus things to do, so I thought we'd uh, kick it off with a, a coincidence, really. But today is Henry's birthday, so, yeah, I think I showed off uh, a birthday before, but, you know, do it again. <laughs> wow, my blood's pumping so hard today, I think my thumbs might explode. That's lovely. I've seen a man transform into a raven before, maybe with a nut study. Oh, nice. Ooh, mysterious object. A seed of trust. That's nice. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's nice. Let's just skip through this. Callum, you, you, the armor plating on your chest looks like it's armor plating for a lady. Oh, uh, hey, Woolheart. Okay, didn't expect to see him in there. Anyway, guys, are you ready? Because we're going to begin the chapter. End game, Grima. <sighs> Wish I brought some something, some water from my voice. This is going to kill my throat, and I've already got kind of a sore throat. <laughs> Wretched son of Naga, you will be destroyed. Nathan? Yeah. As ready as I will ever be, Crom. Let's finish this. Wasting no time, I see. Okay. Good, Sari. Get you out of there. Uh, Severa, yes. Okay, who else have we got here that I could take off? Um. I, I, do, I don't really want to take anyone else off. But I do. Um, Nah, okay. Okay, mm. Well. How many do we. Mm. I mean. Uh. Okay, um. I mean. Uh. I'll, 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 I'll just bring. Severa along for the ride then. Okay, hold on, view map. I'm gonna wanna give me and Crom a bit of an advantage. Uh actually, I'm gonna wanna be at a good place for this to work. Okay, um Yeah, it's that's that's nice. But I do want to yeah, okay. Um do you want to just switch that? Uh, I think that'll be good. Yeah, I think that's gonna be good. Fight! Oh no! That took a while to, deplete, to fully deplete Donnie's health bar. <sighs> what? What matter of magic? Magic. That was a damn catastrophe. He's weakened us all. He's too strong. Ugh. It cannot end like this. I won't have all our struggle, beef and what. No, this darkness. The future is upon us. Oh, gods. F Father. And so it ends, Nathan. See how frail these human bonds of yours are. How short-lived, how pointless. You've all thrown your lives away and the result is the same. What? We're not dead yet. Details, details. <sighs> but yes, I suppose it's time I got you all off my back, so to speak. Permanently. <laughs> No, 
<laughs> no, you don't want this, do you? You do have a choice, you know. It doesn't have to be this way. You can still save all your friends. Become one with me, and we shall spare their lives. Refuse? And watch as I re rend the flesh from their bones. I... No, Nathan! Don't do it! He's lying. It's a trap. Now! I will have your decision. Will you serve these worms? Will you join me and become a god? Submit to Grima. Never! Do you think me a fool? You'll kill them anyway. Well, I, of course I would. I only thought you might want to leave your comrades with a heroic selfless image. But so be it. Leave them the final memory that you were their undoing. Okay. Nathan! Oh, okay, bye guys. I'm out. Peace. Oh, that's lovely. Where am I? Yes. Where your god wills you to be. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some fleas on my back to take care of. What? No, I won't let you. Oh, goodbye. Or oh, no. You still dare resist me? Then perhaps I should end you first. Oh no! So dark. A sea of black. Racist. I have no final strategy. No cards left to play. He has won. I can't see, I can't hear, I feel nothing, don't know, nothing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I hear something. A voice. Fight back! Nathan! You swore to do so, remember? Now keep your damn word! Crom? Crom? Crom, I can hear you. What? No! You are mine now! The dragon's grip cannot be broken. Please stay strong. Come back to us, Nathan. Good luck. Nathan, remember all the days we spent together? I'm here. We're all right here by your side. Stay Gregor will snap you out of it. Gregor does with the yelling! I'm with you. I thought I was your favorite dragon. Don't you love me anymore? That's Just adorable. Don't fail. Get up, Nathan. No one goes down without my say-so. So I know the darkness is warm and delicious, <laughs> but too much of a good thing is just bad. We gotta win. I need you to come on back, you hear? No, you don't. Heed not the dark's eerie call, friend. Summon forth the strength inside you. Time to pay. Come on, you can do this. You need to fight with us. Don't you dare lose. If you don't come back, I'm never going to forgive you. Father, you mean everything to me. I can't lose you again. Stay strong. Oh, I'm not going to yell that. That is one thing I will not yell. Not with an open window. Return to us now! I'm not scared. You'll return. I know you will. I can hear them. I hear my friends. Stop this at once! Silence those wretched voices! You are all powerless, frail, insignificant! You are nothing! Come on! Return to us, Nathan! Your bond with us is stronger than even the fell dragon's might! Crumb. Let's 
Let's do it. I'm coming from. Hold on. Yeah, man, hold on. I'm coming back. I'm coming to help you guys. Children of man, take my power. Rise now and face the fell dragon. Yeah, getting healed. Getting healy dealied. Okay, so, if you remember correctly, how this is gonna work is, uh, expiritation. What? Grima's shadowy breath. Well, that, that's what he's gonna be. What's this? Nullifies lethality encounter and more than. Oh. <laughs> that sucks. Well, uh, well, I mean, I guess that does make sense. Come one hit, kill the final boss, can you? So, the only one who's. The only two who are gonna really do much damage is me and Krom. Krom with the Exalted Falchion is going to be doing a lot of damage, and I'm not going to be doing too much damage. So, what what you're going to want to do is either kill him with me or Krom, or you, Robin or Krom. Of course, that's how I'm going to be playing my game, but uh, I already know who I'm going to win this game with. Let's just go straight forward. Okay, got your uh, head far enough. Now we're gonna switch out to Severa and watch her do her thing. Okay, I'm gonna want to be ahead, but not too far ahead, because, you know, as we've seen, I am not the best around. People will keep me down. Wait, where, where's the Wango? There he is. We've got uh, guys at all angles, by the way, so uh, I advise you don't hang around. But, uh, I mean, in Donnie and Cordelia's case, I think I will keep these two behind. Okay, for, wh whoops. Uh, for now, we'll just wait, though. Okay. Uh, we'll say that I am quite a fan of this music, though. Okay. So we've got to have all these guys clear the way for me to be able to run on through, I guess. Which, uh, is not going to be easy, I will tell you now. But, uh, I mean, we can start killing some dudes on the way there. Yeah, get him! I mean, it sucks, because I'm now right ahead of everyone else, but, uh... Hear my words, Awakener. Oh, this I think this she's going to tell us about something that I just said. Grima's servants will beast you to no end. Dispatch him as soon as you are able. Once the fell one is weakened, a choice will await you. If Crumb lets fall the final blow, Grima shall survive, but return to his slumber. So be it. If Nathan strikes in Crom's stead, both his life and Grima's are forever over. Only in this way may the Fell Dragon be destroyed for good and all. The final decision is yours. And I'll be honest, it may seem like that's a terrible thing to do, but I actually really like the idea that you can control the ending to this game. And I don't mean that it's a terrible idea to let you pick the ending, that's a, that's a good idea. But I mean, like, in this sort of way, by having one decision at the end of the thing. But I feel like it works rather well. Uh, actually, on second thought, I may not want to attack with Noir, but I'm going to do it anyway. Of course. Why not? And murdered. Sorry, Noir, but we're kind of on the back of a flying douche. Okay, let's just murder this dude.
Oh, and I want to check something real quick. Because these two both have gale force. Does this mean that... That if I... That if... I want to just check this out. Nothing. Can I get Gale Force off with Cynthia as well? Yes, I can! Wow! That's pretty neat. Not gonna lie. And, of course, my one and only Severa. Help him. I don't sound too pleased. Okay, Henry. Uh, yeah, I just can't reach anyone, so... Cord also can't reach anyone. So, Mia, uh, we're gonna... Hmm. Gonna have you end up as just you and Krom. But let's take out this archer. Yeah, sure. Yeah, we've got this. Okay. Let me just curve around this guy. Switch. Crom, take him down. Yes, you can. For some reason, I don't think these guys are going to be too big of a problem after what we've already been facing. Just, uh, just saying. Oh right, now and Morgan. Two more of my awesome guys I kinda of just forgot about. Oh no, Severa, I am so worried for you. Come on, after she took those guys in Priam's army, I don't think these guys are gonna be a problem for her at all. Oh no, Crom. He's gonna dodge that. Oh no, Simia. You do that too. It's fine with me. Oh, okay, I'm gonna get some action. Dodge that me. Yeah, good job. Please? No, it's just me. Nailed it. <laughs> so I don't have much to talk about in this episode, guys. I... The finale, man. Didn't expect this. It's gonna be coming soon. Oh dear. Oh wow, I dodged that! Oh, I'm me impressed. Lease? Yes, Lease! And I even got to hear that wonderful line. Yeah, it could be. For some reason, I don't think it's going to be, but it could be. Never has got this. She's had enough, man. Don't, don't mess. Dude, you don't even want to mess. He shouldn't have messed. He should not have messed. No. Why is the? Why are they all going for me? Oh, ow! Can't kind of hurt. I'm gonna wanna fix that. <laughs> now that strategy. <laughs> I don't think any of these any of these guys at the back are really gonna be a problem at the moment. Anyway, I will say now that remember right near the beginning of this series when I first married Lisa, I said there was a a few reasons why I chose to marry her, and I never actually got back to that last one. One of them is right near the end of this, uh, of this game here. We are nearing it. We are nearing the point in which I must say I have a reason to love Whis, and that I think stuff. I think stuff it just makes me prefer it a bit more over my other options. For my ladies. I wink wink. Okay, let's see. I've got to do this right, because I'm not sure if you noticed or could remember. But uh, I'm not going to have Krom be the one to kill this dude. But I also can't, you know, 
And we, what, what is this? Did that, there's a, a breath. That's a specific weapon for him. Your end has come. I come to end you, Grima. <laughs> Arrogant mortal. I am the end. Okay, that's neato. Oh, one damage, Jesus. Nice one, Krom. Oh, so that's like 40 something damage. Oh no, oh thank god, I thought that Samir might actually kill him. But I think we just, I think we just won this, actually. Guys, I, I think we just beat the game. Return to me. Come, we are one and the same. I think we just won, actually. Come on, Nathan. Don't miss. If you could end on that line, we ended on that line. That was such a good line to end on. We were really lucky that Kron got ether. <laughs> Don't ask what that was. Right. Now, Nathan, this is our chance. I'm going to finish it. Let Krom land the final blow. Sorry, buddy. But no. Nathan? Wait, what? What? What are you doing? For once. I'm glad you and I are the same. Now I can give my life but to protect those I care for. You would not dare. All right. I would, and I will. Evils you would visit on this world are unthinkable. In some way, I, we share the blame. It's only right we meet our end together. <sighs> no! Not the pit! It burns! That was gonna be a short episode. Considering it's the finale. But we still have to sit through the credits. <laughs> Trust me, the credits in Fire Emblem games are fun. Trust me. Okay, you're just stepping back into death. Or non existence, I guess. Okay, what a way to go! Just walk backwards. Dang, I like walking backwards. But uh, I'll, I'll try to not ruin these moments. Nathan, no! <laughs> Thank you, Krom. For everything. Tell the others my last thoughts were of them. May we meet again in a better life. Wait! Nathan, no! Oh, God, no! The war is ended, my friends. Never again will the fell dragon trouble our world. I owe you all far more than words can ever repay. Especially Nathan, who gave himself to save us all. To save all the worlds to come. <laughs> Poor Nathan! After everything he did for us. No. Don't cry, Lisa. We'll see him again. I'm sure of it. Remember what Naga said? And Nathan would survive if our ties were strong enough. This isn't over. I believe Nathan is out there. Somewhere. And I'll find him. If it takes me the rest of my days, I'll find him. Mm -hmm. Right. He has to be out there somewhere. We'll find a way to bring him home. Even if we have to search every open field in this whole stupid world. I believe the same, my prince. Nathan is too strong to simply disappear. It falls to us to look after the realm until he returns. Yeah. Nathan had damn well better come back. If that blasted dragon truly got him, I'll be the one breathing fire. <sighs> he made a noble sacrifice, and I know my nobility. 
And I know Nathan shall return someday. No, I said that the wrong way around. Yeah. Nathan has got to be out there somewhere. How do I know? Hey, you don't question the vague man. Oh, hey, stool. I haven't talked to you in a while. I can feel it too. Nathan is out there waiting for us. Though I will surely miss him in the meantime. Well, statistically uns unsubstantiated, what layman might call a hunch. This hunch corroborates my statement moves made last far. Nathan, I know you're out there. I know you're not gone. And no one knows more about being lost and found than me. That's really nice. I wish he could have stayed longer with us. Long enough to see me grow stronger. And all the more reason to work hard between now and his return. He lives. I know it. Some people are just off the dying sort. Right. If Crumb believes he's alright, then so do I. Maybe I can work out some new magic to bring him home. If he returns to us now, I might even consider him, consider making him tea myself. Do you hear that, Nathan? Me making it tea. You should be honored. Let us honor Nathan's regard for his warren. He was a true Togwell, and a true Togwell would not leave family behind. I feel he's out there. Nathan's anything like me. I want to check out just because the job is done. Got to collect on all the sweet rewards, all right? Too many times now have I watched loved ones give their lives for me. I must hold on to faith that this time will be different. Oi, Nathan, you daring to make Gregor celebrate alone? Gregor not rest until he drink you under table. <laughs> <laughs> Nathan's not gone. He's just... Misplaced! I'll wait a thousand years for him if I have to. Oh, it's adorable. Naga has a way of sending a ray of light into the deep, even the deepest darkness. May Nathan find that light, just as he became that light for us. You better march back here and try again. Nobody's allowed to just disappear, unless it's me disappearing them. There will be one less set of eyes on me as I dance. It feels wrong. Please come back, Nathan. Please be out there somewhere. Oh. Minerva says she fe still feels Nathan is of this world. Also that he smells delicious, but that's neither here nor there. <laughs> hey, Nathan. Everyone's dying to see you alive. We're sick to death of death. That reminds me of a good one. Two risen, a wyvern, and a priest walk into a bar. We have won our future, but we are in debt to so many sad memories. I pray at least one of those sadnesses will yet be undone. Right. I swear in my life and joy to defend this future you have won, Nathan. If you can hear me, swear that you will help me to do so. Right. You did what he had to do. That's the mark of a true warrior. He'll be back. Oh, I'd bet my sweet brown arse on it. Arse. Bah! Leave it to Nathan to take responsibility for all of us. If he cared for us that much, I hope he knows, we st knows how we still need him. Thanks to you and the others, I was able to change. And I've got more changing to do. I want you to see it. You've done so much for me and all of my many, many sisters. You're an extra special customer. I hope we meet again. I feel a soul straight, true, and straight and true, pulsing in the darkness. The hero will return. No tears today. I know we'll be back. Just have to wait and try to smile. I won't cry. He'll be back. I know it. And in the meantime, I'll write the finest song about him that ever was! I'm glad for our victory, but I wish it did not mean so sad a farewell. I still have so much to learn. Come back and teach me. 
no, now, the, now I know what it really means to be a hero. But heroes always come back to fight again. Don't they? <laughs> Fool! Why did you sacrifice yourself? I refuse to accept it. Return, Nathan, or face my wrath! You showed me that I have a future. The destiny can be defeated. We have to believe we can alter destiny once more and bring it back. No. Mother, you can't leave me now. Not like this. I believe in you. Come back. <laughs> All is death. No more. Please, you've... You gotta come back. The world is vast and full of potential and unexplored. I shall devote myself to discovering that art which might reunite us. No, this is all wrong. He can't be dead. He's out there. We have to be patient and believe. <laughs> this is all wrong. We just can't leave Nathan for dead. I'll wait until the end of time for his return. Nathan put others before himself. No one can question his character. But his work is not done. He is still needed here. Damn you, Nathan! I joined this fight to meet my end, not secure yours! I'll chase after you to the ends of hell! And if you're there, I'll drag you back! Yes. No, we, how we die defines how we lived. This can be said of Nathan. But I expect there are more pages yet to be written of a man so nearly my equal. Nathan, come back. I need you. We need you. This world needs you. Nathan, it was a life lived grandly. But was it lived to its end? I trow you are yet meant for more. What? Nathan dead before me? Preposterous. Return, my lord, and you will have my service. Nathan could not have, Nathan could not have arrived at his decision uh, easily, but I won't accept it. This can't be the end of his story. Nathan has secured for us all the, for us all the most precious gift, the future. Now it falls upon our soldiers to protect what was given. I vow to give my all to healing the danger this war has brought has wrought upon upon the realm. When Nathan returns, I want him to see what his sacrifice brought. Nathan, if you can hear me, you will always remember you will always have a place here with us. Remember that. Always. Campaign. So guys, this is where all that stuff was recorded by the way, the turns three heroes none sort of thing. Man. Prologue, the verge of history, turn six, heroes, Crum and Lisa. I'll be talking about stuff later. When this is over, chapter one, unwelcome chain, turns four, heroes, Virion and Sully. Chapter two, sweat Shepherds? Shepherds, turn six, heroes, Crum and Vake. Chapter three, Warrior Realm, turns eight, heroes, Crom and Sumia. Chapter 4, Two Falchions, Turns 5, Heroes, Nathan and Lisa. Side Story 1, Sickle to Sword, Turns 12, Heroes, Crum and Sumia. Chapter 5, The Exult and the King, Turns 8, Heroes, Crum and Sumia. Chapter 6, Four Seer, Tur uh, oh my legs, um, feet, Turns 7, Heroes, Crum and Sumia. The Side Story 2, The Secret Seller, Turns 9, Heroes, Rickon and Maribel. It's been a while, guys. Chapter 7, Inclusion. Turn 7, Heroes, Crom and Sumia. Chapter 8, The Grim Leal. Turns 9, Heroes, Crom and Sumia. Chapter 9, Emrin. Turns 9, Heroes, Rickon and Maribel. Side Story 3, A Strangled Peace. Turns 8, Heroes, Crom and Sumia. Side Story 4, Anna the Merchant. Turns 9, Heroes, Rickon and Maribel. Chapter 10, Renewal. Turns 9, Heroes, Crom and Sumia. Chapter 11, Mad King Gangrel. Turns 5, Heroes, Rickon and Marable. Chapter, chapter 12, The Seacomers. Turns 7, Heroes, Cordelia and Donal. Chapter 13, Of Sacred Blood. Turns 9, Heroes, Crom and Sumia. 
Chapter 14, Flames on the Blue, Turns 4, Heroes Nathan and Lisa. Chapter 15, Smoldering Resistance, Turns 6, Heroes Nathan and Lisa. Side Story 5, five Seon of Legend, Turns 8, Heroes Nathan and Lisa. Side Story 6, A Man for Flowers, Turns 7, Heroes Crom and Sumia. Chapter 16, Naga's Voice, Turns 6, Heroes Frederick and Shershi. Side Story 7, Noble Lineage, Turns 2, Heroes Crom and Sumia. Side Story 8, A Dual Dis... Ugh, man, my breath. A Dual Disgraced, Turns 9, Heroes Tharda and Henry. Side Story 9, Wings of Justice, Turns 4, Heroes Tharda and Henry. Side Story 10, Ambivalence, Await, Turns 13, <laughs> Heroes Awain and Cynthia. Turns, uh, Side Story 11, Twin Wyverns, Turns 6, Heroes Crom and Sumia. Side Story 12, Disowned by Time, Turns 4, Heroes Awain and Cynthia. Side Story 13, Rival Bands, Turns 4, Heroes Crom and Sumia. Side Story 14, Shadow in the Sands, Turns 6, Heroes Vake and Muriel. Side Story 15, A Shot from the Dark, Turns 11, Heroes Awain and Noir. Side Story 16, Daughter to Dragons, Turns 12, Heroes Crom and Sumia. Chapter 17, Inexorable Death, Turns 5, Heroes Crom and Sumia. Chapter 18, Sibling Blades, Turns 7, Cr Heroes Crom and Lisa. Side Story 17, The Threat of Silence. Turns 6, Heroes Cro Cordelia and Donald. Chapter 19, The Conqueror. Turns 3, Heroes Nathan and Lisa. <sighs> oh god. Chapter 20, The Sword or the Knee. Turns 4, Heroes Tharda and Henry. <clears throat> Chapter 21, Five Gemstones. Turns 5, Heroes Crom and Sumia. Chapter 22, An Ill Passage. Turns 4, Heroes Gregor and Noe. Chapter 23, Invisible Ties, Turns 4, Heroes Cordelia and Donald Tra Chapter 24, Awakening, Turns 4, Heroes Crom and Sumia. Chapter 25, To Slay a God, Turns 4, Heroes Cordelia and Donald. Side Story 18, Dead King's Lament, Turns 11, Heroes Nathan and Lisa. Side Story 19, Eric Poisonable Paths, Turns 5, Heroes Crom and Sumia. Side Story 20, A Hard Miracle, Turns 5, Heroes Tharja and Henry. Side Story 21, Ghost of a Blade, Turns 4, Heroes, Quam and Sumia. Side Story 22, The Wellspring of Truth, Turns 4, Heroes, Morgan and Nah. Side Story 23, The Radiant Hero, Turns 5, Heroes, Tharja and Henry. Endgame, Grima, Turns 3, Heroes, Nathan and Lisa. Oh god, okay, that was all of those guys, that's what those were for. And oh god, there's even more to come, by the way, and... Oh... Oh, my throat. Oh, man, I need, I need, a, my voice needs a rest. But I can't rest yet. There's still more to go. Oh, damn. Okay, here we go. Newly exalted Krom made a flower Sumia. After Grima's defeat, Krom was officially welcomed as Elise's, Elise's new exalt. Queen Sumia lived and breathed for him and her flower petal readings were said to bring good luck to all who received them. Battles 269, victories 137, battles 350, for, okay. Cold Lieutenant Frederick Wyvern Friend Shershi. As he, as Elise's new knight captain, Frederick took charge of keeping the peace and training new recruits. With his wife Shershi, students quickly learned to fear the couple's famously dis disarming smiles. Okay, well, I mean, Shirshi is kind of... Oh, okay. Archist Archer. Okay, Virion. That is... Ugh. Virion returned home to Roseanne where he was labelled a traitor. Okay. And a coward. Or else ignored entirely. He never battled these claims. But history shows he gave the rest of his life to the people. Dang, why does that have to move so slowly? I won't read the battles and victories thing, you can read those. Zero to hero Vake, Rapier Intellect, Muriel. Vake returned to the streets that raised him and was welcomed as a hero and brother to all. He lived out his days with Muriel, whose sharp mind and tongue refused to be dulled by any change of scenery. Nice. Okay. Damn, this is gonna last for- Damn, I'm sorry, guys. 
uh, the very, uh, okay, Salian Stall became the left and right arms of Elise and conducted crucial missions across the realm. Ugh, it's taking forever. <laughs> the Ring Green Banner soon became known everywhere, everywhere as a symbol of justice and strength. Oh no, this is gonna take forever! Why? Uh, often forgotten Kellen Proud Togwell Pan. Once the fighting was done, the Pan vanished. Some say she returned to her. And it also moves so slowly. What is this? Some, uh, to her Warren alone, others claim she found fellow, to fe uh, fellow Togwell survivors. Her husband's name has been lost to history. Oh, Kellen, you silly guy. G Genophobe at Longku. Shrinking Violet Olivia. Longku returned to Red Ferox and served as Basilio's right hand man. Uh, ugh, oh god. Oh, reading. When the West Khan sent Olivia on errands across the globe, Longku accompanied her without fail and ensured her safety. Ugh, words. Why is this taking so long? Upcoming mage Rick and Dire Damsel Maribel. While continuing to study magic, Rick and realized how childish some of his actions had been. Maribel went on to be a magistrate, and the couple leaned on each other for the rest of their days. Yeah, that's how awkward it is to read slow words. Candy Stealer Gaius. Gaius never lost his sweet tooth, though he ultimately returned to less savory enterprises. Tales of Sticky Fingers Gaius are still told in taverns everywhere. Not even in books, just taverns. Okay, that's nice, I guess. Swell, swell sword, Gregor? Eternal youth, Noe. After the war, Gregor briefly sank into a life of excess, but his wife, Noe, pestered him into traveling the world with her. Sounds about right. Their journey was packed with more chaos than the war that preceded it. Again, sounds about right. It is Noe, after all. Fetching Friar Libra. Many an, un many an unfortunate child found joy in the small orphanage Libra built after the war. Unfortunate child? Oh, what, because they're orphans? Uh, uh whoops. People believed the kind, beautiful priest to be an incarnation of Naga, and he was in uh, courted by women and men alike. Uh, how nice, I guess? Twisted mind Henry Grimm Stalker Farger. Henry settled down with Farger and turned out to be a surprisingly good father. Surprising. Their newborn daughter's mood was said to shift violently, perhaps a side effect of having two dark mages for parents. Yeah, possibly a complete disaster. Blade pr Battle Zero, Victory Zero, Blade Princess Seiri. After returning to Kronsen's, oh god, so many, Seiri worked tirelessly with the other dynasts to secure a peaceful future for the Valmese continent. She was occasionally seen visiting her brother Yenfei's grave. But we had but we had Yenfei, he's back, he's in our party. Intrepid Khan Basilio. With Grima a done deed, Basilio returned to Ferox and applied himself to, de to dethroning Flavia. If his army of champions failed, he knew he could uh, always wait for little Lucina to grow up and lend her a mask. Oh, references to earlier in the game, how wonderful. Khan Lioness Flavia. After Grima was vanquished, Flavia returned home and did a marvellous job of whipping Regna Ferox back into shape. They say that each time a tournament drew close, she would ask Krom to lend his sword. Sounds about right. Krom and Lucina battling it out again. Village hero Donald Knight Paragon Cordelia. Wow, we only have that many victories out of all those battles. Donald returned to his tiny village and built a happy life with his mother and his wife, Cordelia. Really? The latter, however, continued to train hard as a knight and often answered the exult's call. Of course she would. Of course she would answer the call of duty for Crom. Secret seller, Anna. With a nary word, Anna left 
with nary a word, Anna left the others and returned to her free-spirited merchant life. She was later sighted across the continent, haggling with suppliers, and beating down the cost of goods. Great money and shop jokes. For Sia Lucina. Really, I don't know if she has a few more battles than I thought she was. Lucina disappeared after whispering these words to her infant self. Yours will be a happy future. Did she journey to another land or back to her own time? No one knows for certain. Ooh, mysterious. Sorry, I said I wasn't going to try and kill this moment, but... Yeah. Chosen one of Wayne, Miss Personality Noir. Wayne set off on a lengthy quest with Noir to stay his sword hand. Noir worried endlessly about terrors her husband's sword hand might hold, but as it turned out, there were none. <laughs> okay, yeah, that sounds about right. Flower Picker Inigo, Secret Dreamer Severa. In it Oh, sorry, just looking at the battles. Inigo travelled the world, ever ready with a smile or a solution when trouble started to brew. Severa was a vocal opponent of, of, of working for free, but she stayed with Inigo and helped him realise his dream. Oh, so I guess that means he did become a dancer in the end. How lovely. Daunting priest Brady, hero chaser Cynthia, and she got the gold medal for the most battles. Brady left the priesthood to become the world's scariest violinist. Okay, his, origi his original rondeaus called The Heart of Cynthia, who insisted he play them everywhere he went as a sort of theme song. She would say that. Glad she got that gold badge, though. Masked rider Jerome, Little Miss, Nah. Jerome and Nah were married and settled down near Wyvern Valley. Of course, they, they are both, well, Nah's a dragon, Jerome rides one. We, the Wyverns bowed to their new dragonkin mistress, and the couple became the first true lords of the valley. Yeah, sounds about right. Nah, is a dragon. Jerome minds a dragon. Timid Tugwell Yarn, fair fighter, uh, Jelly. I'm still not gonna say her name correctly. Yarn tried desperately to find a safe haven after the battles were done, but even that journey was fraught with danger. Especially as Jelly insisted on facing every foe to better herself as a warrior. Okay. Da what? Dang, this is taking. A ri this is nearly an hour long. The L. Uh, Lauren, <laughs> gift from afar, Morgan. Longing to meet his mother's intellectual standards, Lor Laurent took his wife on an expedition around the world. While Morgan's memory never returned, she didn't really seem to miss it much. I mean, I don't know, she got to travel around the world. Actually, a lot of these guys are traveling around the world. Divine voice, Tiki. Exhausted from the war, Tiki returned to the Divine Dragon grounds and slept for several days. Afterwards, she was said to come down and visit the people regularly. Mad King Gangrel. With the slaughter done, Gangrel retired to obscurity. While some claim he found another kingdom to rule and ruin, others insisted he ended in the gutter. All agree he was dead within a matter of years. That's kind of depressing. <laughs> Sorry, Gangrel. The Conqueror Woolheart. And for the Conqueror, he sure did do a lot of battles. Woolhart was said to leave the world in pursuit of new conquests. Some surviving legends go so far as to place him in the Outer Realms, where he re reputed what reputedly found a new continent to sub subjugate and rule. Next, Gentle Heart Emrin. Sadly, Emrin's fractured memory never fully mended. She took refuge in Ferox after the war- What, really? And started anew as an ordinary woman. A life that one can hope held f f fewer pressures than her exalted one. Well, I mean, I guess, but didn't even go back to Elise. Swamp from Ferox? Damn, man. Blade, Blade legend Yenfei. Yenfei vanished like the mist, never to be seen again. Great. Some say- oh, Damn, how long is this gonna take? 
Some say he returned to the Outrealm from whence he came, but none were able to witness the Great Swordsman's departure. <sighs> okay, we, I think we're at the end. Well, nearly. Dark one Aversa. I've got Aversa and Priam. That's it, I think. I hope. I mean, we're clear. Oh god, oh, having re oh, reclaimed the truth, Versa returned to the town of her birth and started life anew as an ordinary girl, as if making up for the time that was stolen from her. Yeah, that was kind of terrible, what ended up happening to her, I guess. Radiant hero Priam. Priam vanished, vanished like a breath on the wind. Did his pursuit of true power lead him to a quiet corner of the map? I don't know. Or did he move to another continent, one where the ra radi Radiant Heroes legend held more meaning? I don't know, but I think that's the end. Is that the end? Wait, no, it's not the end. If you didn't notice, kind of missed someone out there. But, you know... Actually, we missed two people out there, if you can catch my cold. The end. High Deliverer Nathan, Sprightly Carrick, Cleric Lisa. Many wrote of Nathan's legendary exploits, but accounts of his origins and character varied. Scholars, poets, and bars agreed on one thing alone. He loved his wife, Lisa, above all else. How lovely. I am also very short in that picture. I've been out of the house, you know. I don't 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 know. I Well, everyone, it's been a long, very long, rather tiresome journey, but it is finally over. For now, I'll be back to this game. It's not quite over yet, but you know. Ugh. I could do my usual ending monologue. But I think now is the fittingest of times to use my ending remark. This is the end, friend. <laughs>